Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a LUD comparison video for you. So I'm going to be comparing the Mambo to the Carousel XL to the Shimmy SE. So if you want to see the comparisons in these three bags, then just keep watching. Okay guys, today I'm going to be comparing the Shimmy SE to the Mambo and the Carousel XL. So I've never compared three bags together. I was asked to do this, so I am more than happy to do any requests. So any video requests that you guys have on any kind of comparison videos or just a single video review, I will be more than happy to do. I love doing lug videos. They're so fun. I'm gonna show you what can fit in each one of the bags, how it wears on the body, and just give you a review of all the different compartments and everything that it has. So let's just go ahead and get started with the Shimmy SE. So what I like to do is I like to start with what I would think would be the biggest bag, and then kind of see if everything from it will fit into the next sized bag. I felt like out of the three that the Shimmy SE was probably the biggest and would hold the most. So I wanted to start with it and see if everything that fits in here will also fit in the Mambo and the Carousel XL as well. So this is the Shimmy SC in this beautiful rosewood red color. So it's one of the newer colors and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna start off with it because it looked like the larger of the three bags. And this is a side view. So you can see that I have it packed pretty well. I wanted to pack it to capacity so you could see everything that could fit in here. And then we're gonna see if everything that can fit in here can also fit in the other two bags as well. So let's just go ahead and get started with this. So first thing that the Shimmy Essie has that the other two bags do not have is it has this side water bottle pocket. So this is kind of hidden. So when you're looking from the front, if you don't have a water bottle in there, you can't really tell that it has anything over here. So I really do like that design. So it has a snap open. And then also it has this Velcro right here where it will open to its capacity. So I'm just gonna show it to you with a regular size water bottle, how it will look from the front as well. So it's almost even with the six, are these 16 ounces, I think? Yeah, 16.9 ounces. It's almost even with the top of the shimmy. And then here is what it looks like with the newest Chevy. That's kind of a tight fit in there. So it fits, it definitely fits the water bottle, the regular water bottle a lot better than it does this chuggy. It is a very tight fit and it's taller. So you can see it's about that much taller than the bag is. So that's how it looks like from the front and that's how it looks like from the side. So it does fit just regular water bottle a lot better than it does the chuggy. But I wanted to show you how each one of those did fit. And so you can just Velcro that back and snap it and you don't even know that there's a water bottle pocket there. So the very front of it is this very pretty quilting on here. So let me just tell you, I have this really packed on the inside. You can kind of see how it kind of blocks out here and I'm gonna show you how that affects everything in just a moment. And then it has this very front zipper right here, the pretty zipper detail. So this is a felt lined pocket on the front. So I would normally have my cell phone in there. And when I do put my cell phone, cause I did put my cell phone in there just before filming to see if it would fit with everything that was packed in it. And it does, but it's a very tight fit. I don't have one of the bigger phones. I have just the regular iPhone 10 and it fits good sideways in here, but my husband's who has the Max does not fit very well in here. It's not long enough in here. So this doesn't fit all size cell phones, but there are other areas you can put it if you want to. But as far as this very front uh, felt lined pocket, I didn't see that the bigger cell phones fit very well in there. Yeah. So behind that, you have this other zip around. And so it kind of zips down to about right here. So as you can see how when it opens, so it doesn't have a gusset when it opens. So when you pack this, it does run into the other compartments as well. I think that was one of the problems why it was such a tight fit in here because it doesn't have this own gusset right here. So on the inside, that pretty pinkish lining on the inside of this rosewood red color, you've got an RFID shielded the wallet in here. So let me just go ahead and get everything that's out in here out first so you can see all the areas that are in here. So I have a face mask, hand sanitizer, and, and then a little thing of hand lotion as well. So right in here, it has this cargo pocket that's felt lined. So what I did was I put my sunglasses in it. What I was saying earlier about the cell phone, the larger cell phone didn't fit really well in here, but if you wanted to put it in this cargo pocket in, instead, I would say that it would probably fit really well in that cargo pocket there. And then it also has this built-in wallet. So when you turn it around, it has your built-in wallet right here that has six little slides for you to put credit cards or anything like that. It doesn't have a clear one like some of them do. So that's what you have in the front pocket is your built-in wallet that's RFID protected and then a cargo pocket that is felt lined. It is a single zip, so it's just a single zip around. Then behind that you have this long 
magnet close area. So this is a magnet close right here, and it is a little bit longer than your dedicated cell phone pockets that you usually have that are magnet closed. So in here, it has a key clip. It's not a key leash, it's just a key clip that is removable. You can remove this if you don't like to have it in there. I have my earbuds on it. But I wanted to show you that this would actually fit a Fire tablet. So, so it doesn't fit a regular iPad, but it does fit a Fire tablet sideways and it fits in there really good. So that's a really good area if you have a smaller tablet to be able to put. It is fully lined in your lining material. It's not felt lined or anything like that, but it is a good size area and it goes all the way down to the bottom. So it's a really nice area to put something in that that is a magnetic close. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the back of it. So the back has a really nice zipper area, but something that I noticed that I have not noticed on any of the other bags. So you can see that all this hardware is that gunmetal hardware. And you've got this zipper that's gunmetal and this zipper that's gunmetal. Then your top zipper is gonna to be as well. This back zipper is not. It's the same color as the fabric. So this is a red zipper. So you can see it does not have a gunmetal look to it. It is a red. It's the same color. It's a tonal zipper. All the other ones are a gunmetal, but this is tonal, which kind of makes it almost hidden. So then on the back, you have that lined area and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the back. And I just have a notepad in there and a pen. That's where I kept my pen. So that's what I had in the back area. So now you're into the main compartment. So now we've got the top area right here. So I'm gonna zip it open and we will see what is inside. So you can see how large the capacity is inside. So I actually just have my full size wallet in there. And then I have the jib in there for this particular bag. This serves as a first aid kit for me and a place where I can put my contacts, contact solutions and a little small first aid kit in there. And then I have my lights and my knife and my mirror that goes with me in every single bag. And that was all that I had in like the big open area. So then this has two cargo pockets on this side and one of the cargo pockets, a Eco Shopper will fit really well in there. And then in the other cargo pocket, I just have a coin purse and a box of tissues. And both of those fit in that one cargo pocket. So there you see, you have two cargo pockets right there. Then on the very front, you do have a plastic lined zipper area. And what I have in there is just my lip products, which is a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a chapstick. So that is all that I have fit in here. So that's everything that I have in here. One particular thing that I noticed on the interior part is that it doesn't have a privacy zipper. So a lot of the bags do have a privacy zipper if you want to have anything that's out of sight in here, but this one doesn't. It has just two cargo pockets and then it has a really good sized um, plastic lining that goes all the way down to the bottom and it covers the entire side of the bag. So that's what it does have inside of that. So that is what this one is like completely unpacked. I think it is a really great mid-sized mid -sized to large crossbody bag. I thought this was the largest size of the three bags that I'm comparing. So now looking at these two, the Carousel XL and the Mambo, I'm trying to see which one I would think would be the next biggest size to fit. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the Carousel XL. All right, so next we're gonna try to see if everything that I just got out of that Shimmy SC is gonna fit in this Carousel XL. So this is in a gorgeous wine red color. It is so pretty. It's not. It has like a little shimmer effect to it when it catches that light. It just is so beautiful. This is one of the more beautiful colors that Lug has. So the zippers on this are tonal. So all the zippers are tonal. It's not that gunmetal that you see in a lot of the bags. This right here is a gunmetal. It's really pretty buckle detail and it has this really pretty quilting detail on the front. So let's go ahead and get started with this very front zipper. So this is a single zip on the front. And when you open it up, it has a built-in wallet over here. So it's got a clear area right here. And then under here, it has two areas for credit card slots. Then on the back here, it has a cargo pocket that is felt lined. So it's kind of similar to the Shimmy SE as far as it has that built-in wallet and a felt lined cargo pocket in the same area. This one seems to be a little bit of a smaller area than the Shimmy SE is, but let's just go ahead and see. And it's RFID protected as well. So let's just go ahead and see if I can fit my sunglasses in this cargo pocket. And then I think in the front pocket there, I had my, ooh, look how pretty. I had my face mask and also my hand sanitizer and lotion. That was all in the front of the Shimmy SC and it is all fitting well in the Carousel XL. So let's just zip this up. And like I said, it has a single zip right here. And then behind that, it has another single zip that is kind of just horizontal. So it doesn't zip around, it just zips, zips straight across. 
and it has this little pretty gray arrow design. So this tablet is not gonna fit in that little area right here. So I'm pretty sure that the tablet is only gonna be able to fit in the Shimmy SE because I don't believe it'll fit in the Mambo either. So I'm gonna put that to the side because I don't believe that's gonna fit in here. So what I wanna put in here is I will just put my notepad and my pen in that first area right there. So let's zip that up. And then behind there is the magnetic clothes, felt line, cell phone area. So I will put my cell phone in there. I know it fits really well in there. And then let's go around to the back zipper pocket that it has. So you can see that lining just a little bit better. It's a really pretty lining. Back here, I think I will try to put this coin purse and tissues, see if they will fit back here in the back. Cause I don't want anything really bulky up against me when I'm carrying it. So I think that'll be okay. All right, so now let's go to the main area right here. So you have a key leash, and so I'm just gonna hook my earbuds to those. And then we have two cargo pockets in the back. So let's try to fit one of those Eco Shoppers in that. And it fits standing up really well. So we've got the Eco Shopper in that one, and then I have this other cargo pocket, and I'm gonna see if my wallet will fit in here. And it does. So I just have a regular size Kate Spade wallet and it does fit in that cargo pocket there. So let's just go ahead and go around to the front of this, which has that plastic zipper area right here. So I'm gonna put my lip products, which I always keep in there. So I've got my chapstick and the lip gloss and lipstick, zip that up. And as you can see though, with this having my wallet and this Eco Shopper and my lip products, the inside compartment is not really big, so I'm not sure if this jib is gonna fit or not, but let's see. Okay, so we've got the jib down there at the bottom part. And then all I have left is my knife, my lights, and my mirror. So everything, let's see if it zips up first. All right, and it zips beautifully. And here's what it looks like, completely packed up like I had the Shimmy SE. So everything fits in the Carousel XL that fit in the Shimmy SE, except for the tablet. The tablet did not fit, I did not have room. It would probably fit lengthwise. I could have maybe tried to get it on the inside, but I didn't wanna get it scratched up or anything like that. Also, it's not gonna have a place for a water bottle like the Shimmy SE did. It fits a Eco Shopper and a jib and everything that the Shimmy SE fit, except like I said, the tablet did not fit and a water bottle did not fit. So let's just sit these side by side and see the comparison. So as you can see, the Shimmy SE is bigger than the Carousel XL is. It's taller and then on the side, if you look, but of course it's gonna look bigger on the side with the Carousel XL because I have it completely full and the Shimmy SE is not completely full, but you can kind of see the height difference there. And then if you look at the bottom, if I were to have this packed up, it would be very similar. So you can see that this is packed to the gills, but it does fit the same amount that the Shimmy SE does. Comparing these two together, you have that front zipper in both of them, and you have a built-in wallet in both of them, a big main compartment that has two cargo pockets, and a plastic zip area, and then you have a back zipper as well. The Shimmy SE has the side water bottle pocket and then an extra area right up here where I was able to put the tablet. So, but as you can see, the capacity is very, very similar. And this is a much smaller bag, I believe. You can see side by side how much smaller this bag is and it can still hold as much as the Shimmy SE. So now let's go ahead and compare this one to the Mambo. So here's the Mambo in the navy blue. So looking side by side, these are very similar in height. And then let's just turn around to look at the bottom of it. So it looks like as far as you're seeing the bottom of this, it's a little bit wider than the Mambo is, but they are very similar as well. I think these are gonna be a very similar bag, but I still think that the Carousel XL may hold more than the Mambo. The Mambo is a fairly new bag to me. I've only been carrying it for about a week now. I feel like still the Carousel XL may be able to fit a little bit more than the Mambo can, but let's just go ahead and look and see. Okay, so here with the Mambo, we have all of the zippers that are a tonal zipper, but the zipper pulls are also tonal as well. So the difference in the Carousel XL is that it had tonal zippers. It also had the gunmetal pull. So this has tonal zippers and a tonal pull. So you can't even really see any of the zippers or anything in this. So that is one of the differences, except that the hardware on the side is a gunmetal. So all the zipper pulls are tonal, but the hardware over here is a gunmetal hardware. This has a really pretty quilting detail up at the front and it kind of has this pleating detail at the bottom as well. So 
So it has this little zip around area right here. So you just pull it up. It has this really pretty cobalt lining in here. And then you have a felt lined cargo pocket right here. And then you have a good amount of area right here where you can put some things. So let's go ahead and get those sunglasses out of the Carousel XL and see if it will fit in this area right here. And then uh, the other things that I have in the front here is, ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at the wine and the blue. Those look good together. Okay, so I've got the face mask in here and then the hand lotion and the hand sanitizer. And that was all that I had in the front of the Carousel XL. And so I'm gonna put it in this little area right here. So let's zip that up. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bulky as of yet. Behind here, you have this zipper compartment and it is felt lined in here as well. So you can put your cell phone in here. It will also hold some other things in here, but I'm just gonna leave this designated for my cell phone just because I don't want it to get scratched or anything like that. So I'm not putting in anything in here, but my cell phone. So then let's just go ahead and go to the back here. So this has a zipper on the back of it and has that same lining. So it's the same length and it goes all the way down to the bottom as the bag. So let's just see, what did I have in the back of the Carousel XL? So I had some tissue, a coin purse, and that was it for the back. The Carousel XL had an extra zipper in the front that the Mambo did not have. The Mambo zipper, I was just gonna be putting my cell phone in because it was felt lined and I thought it would be protected. So I'm actually going to put the notepad that I had in that other area back here and the pen that I had and zip that up. So let's go ahead and go to the main area. So it has a top zip on here, and this is the area that has your built-in wallet. So you can utilize this built-in wallet. It has a little slip area right here where you can put your bill. And then it has eight card slots where you can fit your cards in there. So I'm gonna see if my wallet will fit in here before I see if I need to utilize that particular wallet that's in there. It does have a key leash in here. So let's open up this main compartment and just grab my earbuds off of this one and transfer it to this one. And that fits in there very nicely. Okay, besides the built-in wallet, you're gonna have this plastic zipper area. So it's got the plastic zipper area that all three of the bags have. The difference in the inside of the Mambo is it does not have cargo pockets like the other two do. So the other two do have those two cargo pockets inside the main area and this one does not. It just has the plastic zipper lined area. So I'm just going to transfer over my lip products to the zipper area over here and zip that up. And so this is the amount of space that I have on the inside of this. So what's left in here is the Eco Shopper that I had in a cargo pocket. We don't have a cargo pocket here, so it's just gonna try to fit in the bottom. And then I have my full size wallet that I was going to try to see if it would go in here. Okay, and it does. And then I have the jib. So let's see if the jib is going to fit. Okay, so the jib is not gonna fit. So I'm either gonna have to take everything out of the jib to see if it will fit, or I'm going to have to utilize the wallet. So let me just see if the jib would fit if I didn't have my wallet in there. Okay, so the jib does fit. So let me get everything else that's out of here. My knife, my light, and my, and my mirror and put that in here. So what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm going to unload my wallet, put it in here in the built-in wallet, and we will see if it will be able to hold that. Okay, so I was able to transfer everything from my wallet and put it in the built-in wallet right here. So I was able to utilize that and then everything fits. And so it does zip up nicely. So as far as will everything fit in all three bags, the Shimmy SE was able to, of course, fit everything because it was the larger of the three bags. The middle size bag was the Carousel XL. It fit everything that the Shimmy SE could fit, except that it would not fit a tablet and it did not fit the water bottle because it didn't have that side pocket and there was not area in the inside to fit. And then as far as the Mambo to the Carousel XL, it did not fit my full size wallet. I actually had to utilize the built-in wallet to get everything to fit and it did not fit the tablet or the water bottle either. So none of them fit a tablet or water bottle except for the Shimmy SE. And then the Mambo was not able to fit a full size wallet with everything else that I had in it. So 
For size comparison, I feel like the Shimmy SE can fit the most and then the Carousel XL can fit the next most and then the Mambo will fit the least. But these were very comparable in size, which just makes me realize that the Carousel XL has a little bit better organization that allows you to fit a few more things in it than you can fit in the Mambo. So they all have a back zipper pocket. They all have a built-in wallet and they all have some kind of key leash or key clip. The Shimmy SE and the Carousel XL have inside cargo pockets. The Mambo does not. They all have some kind of felt lined compartment to them and they all have a gorgeous quilting detail. The Shimmy SE of course has that built-in water bottle pocket on the side which is also hidden as well if you don't have a water bottle in it. So I hope this was a really good comparison. I hope I was able to compare all of these bags for you. I'm also going to show you how they wear on the body as well. But this is the Mambo in the navy blue, the Carousel XL in the wine red, and the Shimmy SC in the rosewood red. I hope this was a really good comparison for you guys. Let's go ahead and see how they look like on the body. All right guys, so this is the Mambo and this is how I like to wear it crossbody about right here at the hips. I think it looks really nice. It's a good size. I really like how it lays up against the hip and this can be adjusted even longer. So let me just show you how long this can be adjusted. Ooh, a lot longer guys. And the strap is easy to adjust. So this is as long as it gets and guys like that is long. So this will work great for tall people for sure. Or if you like to wear them a little bit longer, then this will definitely work. Then I'm just gonna show you how it looks as short as it gets. And this is really easy. Look how easy this is. So some of the ones I've been using lately are not as easy to adjust, but this is a really nice and easy to adjust these straps. So here's how it looks completely adjusted as short as it'll go. And so it's a really nice length if you wanna just put, rest your arm on it. It's a really nice length to be able to do that. And it fits right here at the top of the hip on me. And like I said, I'm 5'5 five five for reference. But I probably won't wear it like this because I'm wearing a sweater right now. And I've noticed that, you know, it kind of likes to slip off very easily. So this is one that, I mean, even if I'm holding it, it's going to slip off pretty easily. But I will never be wearing it as a shoulder bag. I'll be wearing it crossbody most of the time. But that is how it would look if you did decide to wear it shoulder bag. But like I said, I just feel like it was very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable wearing it as a shoulder bag because it just, it just keeps feeling to me like it's going to slip off. Okay guys, now I'm rethinking that I probably shouldn't have worn this color, maybe a lighter color so you could have seen these a little bit better because this is kind of blending in, but this is the Carousel XL and I'm hoping that you can see that really well. So this is the length that I like it at. And so you can see that it has about this much more adjustment. It doesn't look like it has as much room for adjustment as the Mambo did, but we will see how it looks all the way as long as it will go. So this lays really good. I love the Carousel XL. It's one of my favorite bags. I love how it lays against the hip and everything, but I was really loving this wine red color. It is beautiful. So let's see how it looks as long as it'll go. And this is an easy one to slide up and down to. Seems to be like maybe the same, the same thickness as the Mambo or maybe a little bit thinner. So here it is as long as it will get. So you can see um, I don't think this is as long as the Mambo is, but it's still really a good length. Like I said, I'm 5'5", five five, but it doesn't feel like it's as long on me as the Mambo was. So this one may not get as long as the Mambo does. And so let's just go ahead and see how short this gets as well. Yes, yeah, so this is easy to adjust. Oh, I love this gorgeous color. Ooh, this may be my new favorite color. All right, so here it is as short as it will get. So this looked a little bit shorter than the Mambo. It is hitting a little bit higher than the Mambo did. So it's still a really good, perfect size. This one, I'm not worried about it flipping off my shoulder as much as I was the Mambo. But like I said, I will be wearing this crossbody more so, but it is really nice and elegant looking if you want to wear it over the shoulder as well. So, oh gosh, I wish you could see this color so much better. Probably should have worn like white so you could have seen this, but it's really blending in with this brown. But this looks really good over the shoulder or crossbody either way. Like I said, I don't think that this gets as long or as short as the Mambo does, but this is a really great bag. And this is how it looks like on the body. Okay guys, so here's the Shimmy SE on the body and crossbody like I would wear it. And it does feel like it's a little bit of a bigger bag while it's on. So the other ones, even though they look so comparable, this one does look like it's a little bit bigger and fits a little bit bigger against the body as well. But I still think it lays really well. It is not bulky by any means or heavy or anything like that. So let's show you how it looks completely as long as it'll get. This that strap seems to be a little bit thicker than the other two. A little bit harder to adjust these down and up, but let's see how long it can get. 
All right, so here's how long it can get. It looks like it would be about similar to the Mambo. It does get a little bit longer than the Carousel XL does for sure, but um, definitely gonna be great for any kind of taller gals or if you like to wear them a little bit longer. So then let's just go ahead and see how short it gets. I love this color. This rosewood red color is so gorgeous, guys. I had someone ask me if I would do a video on this and then show some outfits that would go with it, some different colors, I guess, that would go with it. So I'm excited to do that. I'll do a fashion try on anytime. So we will do that. So that's a video that I will be coming up with next. All right, so here you go. This is how it looks completely, as short as it'll get. So you can see it is a little bit of a wider bag than the other ones. And it does lay real nice on the shoulder. A really good area again for you just to rest that elbow on if you want to. And this one doesn't seem to want to slip off like the Mambo. It just seemed like the Mambo just wanted to keep slipping off of my shoulder. So I didn't like that part about it. But like I said, I would be wearing it as a shoulder bag anyway. But oh gosh, this color, guys, is so gorgeous. I love this. So this is how it looks as short as it will get. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this lug comparison video. I hope that this was helpful to you guys on showing you the different areas, what it could hold, and how it looked on the body. Out of all three of these bags, the Carousel XL is still my favorite bag because I like the size of it. The Shimmy SE is just a tad bigger, and it fits a little bit bigger on the body. I like the way that the Carousel XL fits better on the body. The Mambo was my least favorites of the three bags, just because if you're wearing it as a shoulder bag, I felt that it could slip off your shoulder very easily. And also because the organization was just not there as it is in the other two bags, so you couldn't fit as much. Even though it was similarly sized to the Carousel XL, you could not fit as much in the Mamba. So it fit the least amount of things. And I really do like the Shimmy SE though, because of that water bottle pocket on the side of it. And it does have an area where you could fit a tablet if you want a smaller tablet if you wanted to. So I hope that this comparison video was very helpful and thank you for requesting this video. I hope this was helpful to you as well. If you have any other requests for videos, I will be more than happy to do them. I'm working on three other requested videos as we speak and it's so fun to do these leg videos. So I will be more than happy to do any requested videos, any comparisons that you may have. But I hope this was helpful to you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And I would love it to have you subscribe to my channel. I do weekly videos on love videos as well as fashion and beauty videos. So I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.